Hard to believe 75% of the hurricane season is over. We have 25% less. We have to keep an eye on a tropical wave coming off Africa. The feed brought to you by the AccuWeather Pro site where you also can be a pro. All right, want to show you this. This is the hurricane season uh, throughout the uh, six-month time frame here, although sometimes you can get storms before and after the season ends, which is from June 1st through November 20th. So we're right around in here. So that means 75% of the season is over. You still got about 25%. But boy, once you get past October, you'll notice the chances of development really, really goes down. Look what has happened so far this season. How about this? Every storm that has developed, except for Barry, has been in the Atlantic. We have had no storms. Nothing developed in the Gulf or also into the Caribbean. And take a look at this. When you look at the Caribbean, how about this? We don't have anything right now. In fact, if I was looking at the Caribbean right now, I'd wonder what month we're in. I certainly wouldn't think it's October, as there's not much in the way of clouds. Now, the rest of the Atlantic, you'll notice, we do have the clouds moving northward here. So nothing right now on the map is concerning at all. The question is, why is this occurring? I want to show you this. This is the wind shear product. And for those that follow me and have followed the feed, you know I love this product. So what you're looking at here, it's color-coded. Where you have the reds and the oranges, you have wind shear. You start seeing the blues. The lighter the colors, the less wind shear. Now, just to give you your bearings here, this is uh, this is Africa. This is the west coast of Africa here. This is the eastern uh, coast of the United States, and here is Florida, and here is the Gulf. Here is the Caribbean. Look at all of this. This is this evening. Look at all this wind shear. I mean, pretty much anything coming off Africa that goes in the Atlantic, it's game, set, match. It will not reach the United States. It just won't. Now, this is this evening. How about a week from now? Does it change much? I'm going to give you a little hint. I want you to watch this right in here. The Caribbean, where you do have some wind shear right now. Here's the Caribbean. You do have some wind shear right now. Watch how it changes a week from now. Boom. You see this? A lot of lighter colors here. A lot of blues, a lot of purples. There's not a whole lot. Meanwhile, you continue to have the wind shear across the Atlantic. So based on that knowledge, I made this graphic uh, earlier today to show you these waves that come off Africa, what would happen to them moving forward here. So any wave, and this is the current wind shear, and I showed it to you before, all this dark purple in the Atlantic and the light purple is low wind shear. Any wave coming off Africa that takes the northern route uh, and, and basically, I'm going to use this, 15 degrees north. Anything that goes north of 15 degrees north, there's just no pathway to the United States. It would just diminish, get sheared, or get pushed away from the U.S. However, any wave that stays south of 15 degrees north, while there are going to be some challenges for these waves, if they get into the Caribbean... Then you have to worry. Now, even as we go forward, I think there's enough of a dip in the jet stream off the East Coast moving forward, even next week, that any wave in the Caribbean would probably get pulled northward away from the United States. But I would say if it stays south of 15 degrees north, there's at least the chance that it could run the gauntlet, come across the Caribbean, and then, then make a landfall on the United States. And with that knowledge... I want to show you this. This is our next tropical wave that we're watching. It's coming off Florida, off the west coast of Africa later this week. We have a low chance of development with that. So the question is, can this develop into a tropical system? And I think there is a window for that to do so. Now, what I want to show you now is I was talking about the pro site, the AccuWeather Pro site, where you can look at the computer models. I want to show you how two models, I'm going to show you the two main ones, the European and the American model what it does for the possibility of development with this. And it is interesting and, and, and a little concerning to me both. So I, I want to show you what we're looking at here. This is Saturday, and, um, and uh, this is the European model. Let's go to Saturday, uh, late Saturday night. This is the tropical wave. You see this little green doesn't look like much. There's the west coast of Africa. There it is. That's the uh, European model. This is the American model. Shows it as well. You see the little yellows, little greens. That's the tropical wave. Okay. What does it do going forward? Let's go into Monday. This is Monday. This is the European. Right in here. 
and it's south of 15 degrees north. Remember, we don't have a lot of wind shear. So that's a little concerning to me because I'm just looking at the pattern. If it escapes this trough in the Atlantic, then it gets into the Caribbean. Now, I want to show you the American model. It's very interesting. Let's, let's follow it. I'm going to take you to next Wednesday, the 8th. There's the tropical wave. Look how south it is. Here's 15 degrees north, pretty far south. That would put it in the low wind shear if that's right. Now, and it would also, it is far enough south to escape this dip in the jet stream that it wouldn't get pulled northward. Now, watch what the American model does. Now, I want to show this to you. I don't think it's right. I don't. But watch what it does. There we go. This is Friday. It has a storm here in the Eastern Caribbean, and watch what it does with it. It takes it east. There it is, near Hispaniola. That's uh, Sunday. That's 10 days from now, uh, more than 10 days from now. It's not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. And you watch what it does with it. It continues to move it, has a landfall in South Florida on the 14th, and then into the Gulf as we get into the 17th, almost two weeks from now. Is it right? I don't think so. But what it does tell me is that is the one to watch. And remember, we've talked about this. The area to keep an eye on moving forward is this zone, and that's the feed.